Hey guys, Mark here from the Mobile Hotspot. Today, got some great news for you guys. The iPhone 5 is out. Apple, in their keynote, did unveil, did launch the new iPhone. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me questions whether, whether or not it's going to have a 4-inch display, LTE, um, you know, not like w will Apple be even removing the home button? Just random questions all over the place, all over the, throughout the board. And uh, I'd like to confirm that the iPhone 5 will have a 4-inch retina display so uh, all the leaked images are true the exterior design is all true as well that with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in the bottom of the phone and uh, everything that was leaked online all the rumors basically came true and that's a good thing because a lot of uh, people were wondering a lot of people weren't sure whether or not the iPhone uh, iPhone 5 will be a lot different from the 4s and you know in my opinion uh, it looks different, yes, but not really that different. It's more of an evolutionary design. Um, of course, little things like the like the speaker grill and the uh, connector port down below to charge and uh, sync is a little is uh, smaller, uh, also to aid the thinner form factor. So a lot of things have changed, and I think it's for the better. So the iPhone 5 will be available in Canada starting September 21st, with pre-orders starting September 14th. Uh, which is a couple days from now. It will be available at Bell, Telus, Fido, Rogers, and uh, Virgin Mobile starting at uh, probably it's probably going to be a uh, 199 or 149.99 on a three-year contract depending on the carry you're with. Of course, here in Canada, you can buy the, the phone factory unlocked uh, with a slight price increase this year, uh, from going from 659.99 to 69. Uh, 699.99. So uh, there is a little price increase. I'm not too sure if it's really going to make a difference. A lot of you guys are probably going to buy it anyways. So uh, who cares? As for our neighbors down south, you guys can get it for 199 on a two-year contract, probably on Verizon, uh, Sprint, and AT&T. No word on T-Mobile yet, but uh, who knows? Maybe in the future. So as for internals, uh, you guys get a 8 megapixel camera, a front-facing camera, good for FaceTime and everything, and now you have the ability to use your data and FaceTime at the same time. And uh, you know that's always a good feature for a lot of people that have been wanting it, and a lot of people didn't have to not now don't have to jailbreak their phone to utilize that function. With a four-inch display, comes 18% thinner and 20% lighter form factor and overall profile it's very slim and uh, I think a lot of people will probably like this I originally thought the iPhone 4 and 4s was pretty thin already but this is just taking a little step further so of course iPhone 5 will come with iOS 6 as uh, previous generations of iPhones have released with new versions of the, the software as well so for any of you guys who follow Apple news you guys know that Apple kind of excluded the Google Maps and kind of implemented their own version of of their maps and the new system works pretty good looks pretty good based on the demonstration and uh, we will be taking a good look at it during the review process now the 8 megapixel camera probably hasn't changed probably did some minor improvements but overall the 4s camera was already good so I mean I don't I don't see them ever going backwards so it's probably improved overall but we will find out in a review and Apple included new earbuds as well uh, a lot a, a big change from the previous iPods and, uh, and iPhones as well so uh, this is probably a good good time to change everything since the design has finally changed from the 4, 4S and now the 5 which which kind of calls for a new headset. So overall my impressions of this new iPhone 5 it's kind of mixed. I was already expecting something like this and the design hasn't changed drastically as you know none of the iPhones in, in the past have really changed that much anyways. The, the operating system still looks pretty much the same. You guys can hate it or love it. That's up to you to decide. I find it boring. I find that iOS 6, hopefully iOS 7 will be a big change for all of us. That might actually bring me back to iOS and iPhone and uh, we should see what happens. So that's my video about the iPhone 5 being launched and uh, it should be coming out you know, on the 21st. Unless there's any delays, uh, I should be getting it pretty soon after uh, I do a pre-order. Um, you guys should be seeing an unboxing and a, and a review. Uh, it should be pretty exciting. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to be picking the, picking this up on the day it launches, on, on the day it releases, or are you guys doing pre-release? Whatever you guys are doing, let me know down below. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Helps us out. Subscribe to our channel. Watch some of our all our videos, and uh, talk to you guys later.